Hello everybody, this is Manile here, and I am here to bring you a Minecraft horror map. This map is called A Night in That Hotel by... I don't really remember who it was, but I don't really remember anything about it, and I'm probably gonna get the crap scared out of me. I even brought a little stuffed doll along. Don't judge me, please. Alright, play on normal. It's a one-player map, play on adventure mode. Oh, I should probably check to see what mode I'm in. Difficulty, normal. No breaking or placing blocks. Map by JDroid. Recording. Feedback, please. Turn music off. Okay, so I should probably take care of that. Or master volume, I guess, should be on. Where am I? <laughs> I don't feel very good. The exit is blocked. I need... Nope. I need to get out of here. I can't see a thing. Where am I? Use keys on the right doors. No checking dispensers. Brightness on moody. They should really put all these op reminders at the back. Alright, so. Now it is at moody. Entrance. Keyhole. Okay, so chiseled blocks are the keys. I'm gonna go to the left first, I guess. Room 205. Room 206. Hmm. Were those arrows in the ground I've been seeing? It's like the second arrow. The storage. Is something, like, shooting at me or something? Dining hall. Keep out. Well, that doesn't look fun. Bathroom. Shop. The kitchen. Ooh, spooky kitchen. Room 204. 203. 202. 201 The main exit, this is where I started I think Key to room 199 Okay, so I'm gonna guess that's on the first floor Room 196, nope I'll just go over this. 197. 198. And 199. Room 197's key. The key to room 197. Why is it here? Oh, I don't feel so good. One nine eight, one nine seven. All right, what's waiting for me in here? <coughs> oh God, what the hell? Okay, room two o six. Please let there be no more of that. They just always have to have something. Room 205. 206. This place is different from the others. What happened? Oh god, what's going on? Maybe it came from the kitchen. Maybe I should head there. Maybe I can find some help. Kitchen key. Alright. Was that a ghast? Oh god. Please let there not be anything I have to fight in here. If there is, fuck that. I am done. Dining hall. Keep out. 
bathroom, shop, the kitchen. Okay. I should probably open these chests first, or the one at the entrance. Oh wait, no, it has something on it. Oh god. Help me? Oh god. The thing said not to check dispensers, but that wasn't a dispenser, that was a furnace. Okay, just some... Oh, food. Should probably take that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Die. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why aren't you dying? <sighs> okay, just gonna eat my mushroom stew and head to room 192. What was I thinking? Why did I do this? Nobody made me. I did this of my own accord. What was I thinking? What the complete hell was I thinking? Alright, room 192. It should probably be around here somewhere. Oh, hey. I was exactly right. Oh god. Lava jumping puzzle. No! What's with this room and with all the keys? Ugh. I wonder if there's some medicine in this place. I burned to death, of course. Room 197. Oh well. I guess this makes it a little easier. I don't know how to fit change that, but. Oh wow. This is actually a really nice looking map. When you can see it. Some of those little ambiance things were kind of lost in the dark. Alright, so this is the key to room 202. And I kind of can't go back through its hair, can I? Well, go figure, I've already broken the map. Hmm. Oh well, this is a lot less terrifying, isn't it, Warkly? Don't judge me. I can feel your judgment. <sighs> okay, that, honestly, I didn't do much in this map and I'm already scared. I'm such a pansy. My god. Oh, okay. Alright, so just don't look at little Mr. Enderman and I'll be fine. Room 203, okay. Where do I go? Oh, okay. So do I have to just swim my way through? Oh god. Uh, 
cough, cough, ow, I don't feel very good. Key to the bathroom. Not the bathroom. The bathroom is where someone always dies. Alright. Shop. Bathroom. But yeah, without the whole ambience thing, this would be much more terrifying. Or with the whole thing. Wait, did this one not have water? Hmm. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna close these. Something's probably gonna come crawling out and kill me. What was that? <laughs> not again. Human bone. Splash potion of healing. Oh god, I can hear a zombie. Key to room 208. Okay, well, he's harmless. For now. But just to be safe, I'm locking you in. Locking you in, bitch. Room 208. Okay. I can do this. It's perfectly well lit up. There's nothing to be terrified at this point in time. This is literally as calm and complacent as it gets. Wooden button. So I gotta be quick about this. These rooms are odd. They aren't even rooms. Why am I feeling like this? <laughs> Cough. Room to room 207. I almost said room to key 107 for some reason. What kind of hotel is this? Okay, I'm just gonna hide on top of this. A smoke substance has been strangely free from the chest. Ugh, oh, gotta go to dining hall and get that antidote. Oh god. This is so difficult. No, I mean like... The storage... Boy. Dining hall. Like, okay. Almost there. Wait, what did they say? Oh, there's a lot of them. The antidote is here. I gotta hurry out of here. As well as certain key 1095 or whatever. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I screwed up and I wasn't supposed to fight any enemies. Like that other one. Maybe I just moved a thingy I wasn't supposed to move and I let the zombie out. Room 195. What did that do? Oh, hello. What was that? This place looks amazing. Odd though, I mean, no windows and there's no live people. I'm worried, will I end up like them? Alright, room 194. Okay. This isn't so bad, what am I freaking out about? This is so tame compared to other things I've done. Ooh, a baseball bat with sharpness one. Should probably take those. I 
got my whooping stick. Did I just copy someone? AKA Immortal H. Dizzle? Uh, might as well just bend over and let the zombies have me. That is just the badge of shame for this map. The fact that I just called it a whooping stick. Not only did I steal a joke from someone, but Immortal HD, oh god. What was I doing? Or what did I do that for? The storage. shouldn't have tried to record this in the middle of the night in the dark. I was having such a fine hunky dory day. Everything was good, I was happy. Last day of high school, and I just had to ruin it for myself, didn't I? Okay, I'm lost. these enchanting bottles are for. Well, this looks horrifying. And the, the similar room turns into blood as a weird sign bounces inside your head. The shadow awakened. Whatever it is, it freaks me out. I should keep moving and fast. I don't know if I want to keep doing this. I'm so stupid for doing this, but I'm gonna keep going. Might as well try to finally finish something in this for YouTube. What did I get? The key to the shop? Okay. Keep out. The shop. Note, the golden apple shop sometimes discount when you buy it. The shop is still functional, odd, ah, but maybe I can have something use of something in here. Seems like the shop lost souls as money. I found a couple of odd looking bottles with some sort of weird energy inside. Maybe that's what I need. Let's see what I can get. Use XP to level up. Levels to buy stuff. Do not break item frames. Don't click buttons if you don't have enough XP. Okay. Only four levels. Hmm. Alright, so... Almost no defense, and almost no attack from that, so I'm just gonna keep my baseball bat. But wait, what do I do from here? Did I miss a key or something? Hmm. Well, I don't see what I could possibly be doing now. I didn't get a key. Maybe I need to go back to storage? Hmm. Maybe I missed something in here. I'll just 
go to the back and check again. Remember children, victim blaming is never okay. Except in this situation, because I definitely put myself in this situation and I should not have. I can't believe I just went there. Oh, well, that's a pretty heavy topic. I guess I'll talk about that. Victim blaming is when people blame a victim for what happens to them, like when girls dress slutty and get raped. They call it victim blaming. And when people go do something stupid like or potentially dangerous like wear black and walk against traffic or walk with traffic in the middle of night and if they get hit then some people tend to blame them for what they did and yeah a lot of people get mad about it like victim blaming is never okay though it's a very serious topic and no one should ever be blamed for something like that I must be missing something. A night in the hotel. Well, it's been fun, but maybe now is a great time to end it off. Mainly because I'm scared out of my fucking mind. Alright, maybe I should do a... Yeah, because I'm not seeing anything that I can do. Like, there's no chest in the water or anything. Okay, so this was my sort of review of a Minecraft horror map. If you can tell me what I did wrong, apart from dying in lava and making it so I couldn't proceed, then be sure to let me know. Leave a like and a comment. If you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, hopefully. And also, if you like League of Legends, I'm going to be starting a League of Legends tutorial series soon. Shameless plugging. Warkly demands you subscribe. Thank you for being here, Warkly. No, seriously. This was terrifying. I'm not even ashamed to admit that I still have a stuffed animal security blanket. Alright, time to jump. Alrighty. Bye-bye.